Okay guys, just wanted to share a really nice way to get loads of money early in Starfield. And what you're basically going to do is spawn an endless amount of weapons and gear, including rare and legendaries, then sell them for tons of credits. And unlike the farm linked above, which is still really good, but one you can't do straight away, this one can be done from level one onwards. So as soon as you finish the game's intro, you can do this credits farm. I've actually split this video into parts with each one showing you a different location you can do this farm in. For the first farm, the first step is to head to New Atlantis, which is on Jemison. Specifically, we're heading to the Mast District. Once at the Mast District, go to the main UC building. So head inside here, and just before we enter the lift, set the game to very hard. This makes all the weapons that are about to spawn have a higher chance of being rare or legendary. Next, do a hard save. Always make sure to save just before doing any sort of farm, you know, just in case you mess something up and you want to restart from the beginning. Now head to the defense and research floor. This is where the UC tests its weapons and as you can imagine, it's absolutely filled with weapons. Some of them are on tables and other ones are in yellow weapon caches. And what you can do here is walk around and steal pretty much everything. There are a few people in the room, but it's possible to steal weapons from behind the caches themselves. So you're hidden from sight and essentially clipping them straight through the cache. There are a few other ways to ensure a successful steal as well. So you could find a container and put it on someone's head using the classic Skyrim stealth method. Or you could use some stealth armor that raises your stealth and some armor even gives you the chameleon ability which turns you completely invisible. You could use the void form ability as well, or you could use the ability that lets you manipulate other people and make them leave the area, or even blow up a gas canister and cause everyone in the room to flee, leaving all the weapons free to steal. I'm out of here. This is hopeless. I'm out. Okay, yeah, that one doesn't work all of the time. But anyway, once you've stolen everything you want, head downstairs, leave the area, and find the nearest bench, and wait here 48 hours. Yes, we needed something. Alternatively, you could head to Venus and wait just one hour. That's because one hour on Venus is equivalent to this many hours on New Atlantis. I've timed it and they both take a similar amount of time to do, so it's really up to you where you want to wait. I just like to sit on the nearest seating though because it saves me going through all the menus to get to Venus and back. Now save again and head up to the same floor. You'll find all the weapons have now respawned. Everything you've stolen has been again randomly generated. It won't be the same weapon, it will be a totally different weapon. Most of them will be common, but there will be a few rares in there, and if you're lucky, maybe even a legendary. A little tip here is to open up each crate and not steal what's inside. When you leave the area, wait 48 hours and return, and a second weapon will actually spawn on top of the first, so there are now two weapons in the case. And if you leave and come back again, a third one will spawn and you can repeat this infinitely to have an infinitely respawning source of weapons. But how do we make money on this method? Well, the best place to sell your items is the den. The den is located here. They'll accept stolen goods without issue and the vendor here has this much money to offer you. When the vendor runs out of money, wait 48 hours or again one hour on Venus and sell to him again. Alternatively, you can launder your weapons by selling to the vendor, then buying the weapons back. This removes the stolen tag. That means you're free to sell them to any shop you want and ensures they won't be confiscated should you be arrested. Onto the second farm, and this gives you even more items than the first. Now, I want to give a shout out to Nuke Jesus here who put a video out on this farm originally. Really helpful, but here we're going to tweak it a bit to speed up the process and earn ourselves even more credits. So first up, we're landing at the Mast District. From here, we're going to take the lift down to the well, which is the underground area beneath New Atlantis. And this is the quickest route there, much quicker than landing at the viewport and running down through the city and taking the lift from there. And what I like to 
to do is do this farm after I've done the first farm and alternate between the two because while you're doing one the other one will be resetting and you'll be basically doubling up your efforts. Once at the well head to the gun shop as you can see it's filled with guns and gear even more than the UC office building. What you want to do is go around opening up each case. Once you pop them open while leaving the item inside a second item will spawn if you leave the area and come back 48 hours later. Again you can wait on Venus for one hour or use a bench and wait there 48 hours. Both take around the same amount of time to do. Come back and you'll see a second item has spawned in the cases which have now magically closed themselves. So go around opening them all back up, leave, rest for 48 hours and return to spawn more items. Some of these will be rare and legendary due to you playing on very hard difficulty. When you do decide to steal them you can easily get away with it here due to there only being one witness in sight. And he's really fun to fool as well so you can bait him to the back room then shut the door on him and just quickly steal stuff while he's locked away. Or they have to be quick because uh, yeah he can open doors again. Or you can put a container on his head or do the gas canister trick. Very controversial but no one seems to get aggroed which is always good. As for selling all your stuff there's a really quick way to do this due to the vendor being just around the corner. This is the trade authority vendor as they actually buy stolen goods. The one in the well has 11,000 credits on her as well which makes her one of the richest vendors in the game. And let's say you do get caught, your stolen items will be confiscated, but you can actually get them all back again by picking the lock of the container they're in. Every jail has a container where all your stolen items are stored, and they get stored there when you're in jail. You can visit this container and get everything back. So anything that's confiscated is not confiscated forever. So those are three Starfield credit farms where you can make a ton of cash really early early and really quickly. Let me know how those farms go for you guys and if you have any way of improving these do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and for more Starfield guides subscribe to the channel. Well, the TMD has a long road ahead. The results will be worth it.